the religious uses of images. During a plague of serpents sent to punish the Israelites during the Exodus, God told Moses to make a fiery serpent, and set it on a pole, and everyone who is bitten, when he sees it shall live. So Moses made a bronze serpent, and set it on a pole, and if a serpent bit any man, he would look at the bronze serpent and live Numbers chapter 21 verse 8 to 9. One had to look at the bronze statue of the serpent to be healed, which shows that statues could be used ritually, not merely as religious decorations. Catholics use statues, paintings, and other artistic devices to recall the person or thing depicted. Just as it helps to remember one's mother by looking at her photograph, so it helps to recall the example of the saints by looking at pictures of them. Catholics also use statues as teaching tools. In the early church they were especially useful for the instruction of the illiterate. Many Protestants have pictures of Jesus and other Bible pictures in Sunday school for teaching children. Catholics also use statues to commemorate certain people and events, much as Protestant churches have three-dimensional nativity scenes at Christmas. If one measured Protestants by the same rule, then by using these graven images, they would be practicing the idolatry of which they accuse Catholics. But there's no idolatry going on in these situations. God forbids the worship of images as gods, but he doesn't ban the making of images. It is when people begin to adore a statue as a god that the Lord becomes angry. Thus, when people did start to worship the bronze serpent as a snake god, the righteous king Hezekiah had it destroyed 2 Kings chapter 18 verse 4.